Hi my YouTube fam, welcome back. So today's video, I have quite a few luxury unboxings. I've got a new bag, some accessories, and I cannot wait to show you what I got. So if you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Mel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you love all things luxury and you like unboxings and reviews and vlogs, then hopefully you join my YouTube family. And all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell because you will be notified each time I upload. You don't wanna miss my next video because I am doing a big Lunar New Year giveaway. For those of you that have been with me for all these years, you know what that's about. And can I just say, whew, this year it has taken some effort. I've got some stories to tell you, but that's for the next video. It is super exciting. So don't forget to click that bell because you don't want to miss out on that because I've also got a little extra for that video, but that's a surprise for you guys. Anyway, in today's video, I've got a few things to show you and I'm going to start off with my latest bag. And I'm really proud to say this video is in partnership with Forzieri. For those of you that have never heard of Forzieri before, I have mentioned them a couple of times in my past videos. I've bought a bag of them. I've bought shoes off them and they are an Italian based luxuries I would say more specifically accessories company they are actually from Florence and they've been around for 20 years but I think a lot of you guys don't know about them I know you guys know about the Netta Portes of the world and my Teresa but if you're looking for accessories they specialize in this so do go check them out I'll leave the link below but the first item that I want to show you which I got is actually from Forzieri and it is dun, dun, dun. when they reached out to me and said mel so i you guys know i'm so transparent and i will always do that from when i first started a couple of years ago to now so this bag was gifted to me by them but i did choose it and it's from a brand called la pomontier and for those of you that I know a lot of you love luxury like I do, and I would still consider this a luxury bag, but it doesn't have the price tag of a luxury bag. So let me show you. It is this gorgeous bag. It is called the new Odina top handle bag. I love this because one, the sort of circular metal feature. I think it's gorgeous. It does come in plain versions, but I love this kind of color block. It is in smooth calf Italian leather. It is made in Italy. It's got suede along the side. This is what the back looks like. And that's the bottom of the bag. Now let me show you. So it is a push lock feature. So you just push this lock and there is a shoulder strap. You guys already know that I love a shoulder strap and a top handle, but what I love about this is that the shoulder strap is also detachable. So inside the bag there, it is also lined in leather, but it does have one pocket there. So the best thing about this, guys, is the price point. So this retails for 296 Australian dollars or about 210 USD. So I think for something that is Italian made, and the leather is just gorgeous. I think the design is great. If you're not sure about investing and in just in just say the Chanel's of the world or the Dior's, I think this is a great luxury bag. I think it's just really, it's beautiful. I specifically picked this because I want a little bit of yellow in my collection. I don't have that much. And the yellow and tan, as you can see me wearing it, it's just it's casual chic. It's casual elegance. This color I really loved. It was I, re, I nearly picked the uh, burgundy and the blue as well. I think that can be all year round. Besides this shape, they've just come out with a new sort of satchel bag. I really love the all tan in that bag as well. Of course, as you guys know, I am always looking out for you. So I did ask them, can I please have like a discount code for my followers? If you were interested, the code is MIM gift 15. It's only valid for a limited time, but I will put all this into the description bar as well links to everything I've mentioned. But yes, do go check them out. I want to tell you about sites and brands that you may not have heard of. So I hope that you love this bag because I think it is super cute. By the way, guys, because I've also been surfing online, I don't know about you, but this is like the end bit of the sale season. So you'll find a lot of sites having take a further 20% off or last sales. So 
Forzieri of up to 70% off. I've actually scored my Moschino bag and my Stuart Weitzman's for like 40 to 60% off. So do go check out their sale items. The thing that I'm eyeing for hubby, okay, Valentine's Day is coming up. Even if it wasn't Valentine's Day, guys, I love these pair of Gucci sunglasses. I just think they're very simple. So if you've got a special guy in your life, do check them out. So another item that I was surprised to see on sale because they've just come out in new season colors of this was this Balenciaga bag so it looks very reminiscent of the LV Alma bag which you guys know I have the Alma BB but this little blue version with the Balenciaga is so cute and it's like save 30% don't mind me if I'm looking at my computer because I just I have a few things in my list saved that I just wanted to highlight if you wanted something really different not sure if I should buy it or not because you guys know my taste sometimes is quite quirky this Balmain bag it's very different it's a sort of like a cylinder shape but it's 60% off at the moment so I'm thinking about getting that but one of my favorite bags is the Givenchy Antigona for those of you that have been following me for ages it comes no secret because I use this bag a lot for work the black's on sale guys in the grained leather so if you were looking to add this back this is also at 30% off so they've got a lot of things on sale I have been looking at this Prada bag and I saw that it just went on Forzieri's site so this is a big canvas blue bag it's a new arrival but just note guys, sometimes this happens on the site, sometimes it doesn't. When you click on there, sometimes it says, oh, you've got 24 hours and then you can get discount on the full price. So do try that as well because I found that when I go on, sometimes it has this sort of like limited time offer. For the boys, I saw this Kenzo, actually it's not even just for the boys, for the boys and girls I should say, I saw this Kenzo backpack, you know, backpacks are really in at the moment. I thought this was really well priced. It was in the new arrivals, but I just looked and it was on sale at 40% off. I've actually seen it on another site at full price, so I quickly thought I'll mention it. Besides Forzieri, something just popped up, which I just saw like a few hours ago, and my Chorizo have also got a further 20% off their sale. And Louisa Via Roman, which you guys know that I love that site as well, they've also got 15% off. It is Chinese New Year coming up or Lunar New Year, and they've got 15% off selected full price items. So this isn't just sale. The two one that I wanted to highlight really quickly, which I personally own, these gorgeous Jimmy Choo shoes. You know I picked these up in Hawaii. They've got the version, mine's slightly shorter. I would have got the higher version, but I've got lots of heels that height. So they've got this in the white and the black and that's 15% off at the moment and you guys know how much I rave on about my Manolo Blahniks these are the Hangases or Hangases don't know how you would like to pronounce it but I love the green I'm a sucker for green they have that at 15% off if you wanted to spoil yourself for Valentine's Day or you want to nod your partner just wanted to let you know about some of the sale items because Mel's always kind of like shopping online. Anyway, let's just keep on going. I've got lots to show you. Okay, so what's in this Louis Vuitton bag? Those of you that have come from my shop with me at Louis Vuitton, if you haven't seen that vlog, it is above. I show you all the new season goodies. This was an unexpected purchase, but I went in and I fell in love with it. So let me show you what I got. I think you guys know me too well because a lot of you guessed, so. Yes, maybe I'm too predictable. So it's in this box. As always, I will reveal the price. I got the denim raw edge short. It is pretty long, as you can see. It says, okay, Louis Vuitton, as you can see, I'm just going upwards. Da, da, da. And I'll insert a clip of me wearing it, but I just love it. I don't, you know, it's not that it just says Louis Vuitton, but these raw edges, I just kind of really like it. I like that. It's just sort of so casual. I could wear it with like, you know, a silk cami and then just sort of drape this over my shoulders. I just think it's such a versatile piece. Let me tell you what this is called and tell you the price because it was quite pricey, but I find Louis Vuitton shawls slash scarves a little pricey and it doesn't say the name actually. It just same, says ECH Team Louis Denim. Anyway, this was 1,070 Australian dollars. This is something that was actually in the men's section, so I'm thinking it can be unisex. Probably can be unisex, but I just love it. Denim's really in. I'm seeing a lot more denim bags, a lot more denim accessories. You know, when is denim ever out? To me, it doesn't matter if it's in or out. As long as you love it, that's the most important thing. Next up, 
is a, just a couple of little things from Hermes. So opposite Louis Vuitton in Cadston is Hermes. So I went to see my new sales associate there and these are a pair of the new season Twillies. It is so, so pretty. It is just like in sort of like pastel -y shades, I guess. And it's got like a hummingbird on it. I think it's a hummingbird. Is it a hummingbird? Yes, it's a hummingbird. So these two I sort of want to get for my Gris Tortorelle. I think it would go beautifully on there. And then, yeah, I just really love the colors. I really love Twillies. The Twillies, since there has been a price increase with Hermes, guys, the Birkins of Kelly's have gone up quite a lot. I think the Birkins and Kelly's have gone up like 8 to 9%. I know. If it wasn't expensive enough, it's gone up. But anyway, the Twillies are 285 And this Twilly is called, yeah, Tree of Song, which I think is actually a perfect name for it. So let's move on to Fendi. And this is also just a very little thing I picked up. But the reason for this, and I've been looking at this for the last few months, there have been nothing I've really liked. But you guys know how I bought the Defender a few months ago. I had a really old Peekaboo Mini, which my sister gave to me. And basically the Defender just gave it a new lease of life. And I wanted a Twilly to go over the handle. And I saw this one and it was just perfect. How cute is this? I love this one. And let me tell you why. One, it's got the FF logo, but it's also got the leopard. I love me some leopard. Leopard never goes out. You won't be able to tell, but even, can you kind of see the Fendi sort of graduates into an F leopard and then it goes into the leopard? So I just really like that. I think this is something that goes so well with sort of earthy tones. I would totally wear this as a scarf like this, even paired on other bags besides, you know, my Fendi Peekaboo. And for this Fendi Twilly, it is 240 Australian dollars. So next let's move on to Dior. So I do have the two bags. They still got this beautiful Toile de Jouy, uh, packaging, which I think has been my favorite Dior packaging of all time. In here, my sales associate, who is lovely. If you need a sales associate, go see Michelle in Dior. She's awesome. I didn't even have to ask, but she gave me this because I haven't visited the store in a while, guys. I think this was from their holiday. I'm not exactly sure. And it's not anything to some people might not be anything that big, but I appreciate it that she even just included it. And it is actually the Dior Maison in Paris, which is the most beautiful boutique, by the way. And look at this, it's just a card. How pretty is that? It just says at the back, Dior wishes you all the best for 2019. Thank you, Michelle, I appreciate that. The little things count in life. But what I did pick up, little Toile de Jouy and I'm sure you can guess, for those of you that have been following me, it is the new season Dior M earring. So this is sort of like in the tribal style. I love pearls. I'll put it on my ear now, but it's M and basically it's got all the alphabet. So there we go, guys. As you can see, it's just a little M, but I love that it's just got the little bit of pearl. I love pearls. How many times have I said that? And yeah, I just think it's really nice. A lot of brands are doing, you know, initials or letters. Uh, and I just like this because I'm an earring person. I just like that. So if you liked that, you can, it's, you just, it's just one, by the way, guys. I just think it's really cute and I can mix and match it in. I could still even wear it with this, one of my Dior earrings because there's no right way or wrong way to wear it. It's however you want to wear it. And this earring, so the single earring was 330 Australian dollars. And lucky last, I'm so happy to have found this. So for Christmas, I did get some vouchers to Chadston. So I used a little bit to this. I didn't know they even had this. It was purely by chance and I just love it. And in here is, from the shape of the box, you may be able to tell, it is do, do, do. this beautiful card holder. And yes, another card holder. I love them. How beautiful is this Camellia card holder? 
it is just divine. So I have been looking to add something camellia-like, which I just, I missed out on this blue one I liked maybe about two years ago, but I really, really love this red one. And it's got silver hardware. This one is, yep, it's a 27 series. And let me just see where it's made. This one's made in Italy. And yeah, it's just holds a lot of cards. I have to say the button closure ones are my favorite type of ones. I love the plain card holder types as well, but yeah, I just love this. And yeah, really love the color, really love the camellia. And I kind of took my own advice. If you guys haven't watched my five best luxury items to buy for her or him for Valentine's Day, I'll link it above. But I in that video, I said, you know, a luxury card holder in red or pink is great. So this is like an early Valentine's gift from me to me because why not, right? Oh, and I forgot to mention guys, the price of this card holder was 670 Australian dollars. So that is it guys. That's all my unboxings. I kind of realized I got something from every single brand. I cannot wait to style my new La Pomontier bag. I'll just rip this off actually. So definitely worthwhile to check them out with everything. If they do have links, I will link them down there below, guys. Watch out for my next video. I cannot wait. Have a fabulous day or night. Love you heaps. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.